You know, Desi? You know, Desi, my mama always said everybody is looking for the true meaning of life. But if you ever meet somebody that tells you they really know the meaning of life, check your wallet. Everybody, I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I so hope you had a good safe week. And I wanted to make sure that I said a special thank you to so many of you who last week shared your five words that once you learned what those five words really meant, those words changed your life. And I can't tell you, you know, in, in reading your comments on last week's video, I was just blown away. I just, I was brought to tears. And, you know, I was thinking, I so much would love to put all this in a book. And, and you know, maybe I will. But I just wanted to tell you how awesome I think you all are and how wise and how grateful I am to you that you teach me so much every single week. So... So thank you. All right, today we're going to have some fun. I want to do my April and May favorites. And, I, you know, I love doing favorites because it can be about anything, right? I mean, favorite skincare, makeup, decor, my new plumber. I, I mean, it just can be about anything. And I love that because you never know, you know, when somebody holds something up, it might be something you truly need and you just didn't know it. You know, today I wanted to share some things, you know, with summer almost here, you know, some things that help us, you know, get our glow on and help us smell really good. You know, a lot of kind of romantic girl things <laughs> are in this video today. But, you know, one way that we can really have our skin glow is to make sure that it is exfoliated. And, you know, a glycolic acid peel is a, it's a wonderful thing for us to use. We buy these, you know, peel pads. And most of the time, the strength of these peel pads, you know, it's about 2.5%. And what I wanted to share with you today is I picked this up at CVS. This is by Joha Beauty. This is K-Beauty. These glycolic acid peels are over 5%. And they're not as expensive as the other ones that are usually, you know, running about $20, like the, the Nip and, and Fab or something like that. But these are really good. You get uh, 60, you know, in a, in a tub. And the glycolic acid, you know, we use it like once a day. Don't use it twice, but, you know, either, you know, pick the morning or at night. But I use it in the morning because... Once I run the pad over my face in the glycolic acid, this also has papaya extract. <laughs> I don't know what that does, but it sounds good, right? <laughs> anyway, after I run it over my face in the morning, my face is 
definitely exfoliated. Now, I did have glycolic peels professionally done years ago when I had money to burn. <laughs> anyway, and they were like a hundred dollars a piece. But you could really tell the difference, you know, the shine in your face anyway. That's what this gives you. I mean, not on the level of a professional peel, but it's pretty darn close. And I was watching my friend, uh, Laura. Laura Ray is her name. I will link her channel below. I always watch her for the best makeup tips. But anyway, she was saying that she found a dupe for the Bum Bum Cream. You know, the one that smells so good. And it's like, I don't know, like $5,000 a tub. It's so expensive. But anyway, she said she found a dupe for it. And here it is. This is the coconut miracle oil by oxy or oy i don't know something i'll link it below but this is really reasonable i think i paid eight dollars for this i did have to order it i went to the store to get it they're always sold out and i can see why this smells so beautiful it smells like coconut and vanilla and you know, when you're, you know, putting lotion on your feet or your legs and your arms or wherever you put lotion. I mean, you can't get away with it because it will, the the aroma will permeate the room. It will smell like vanilla and coconut. It smells so good. I mean, you get it. I mean, it, if you don't like coconut, you might not like this. But if you like the bum bum, yeah, you're going to really, really love this. And it feels so satiny and silky on your skin. So that was a wonderful tip that I got from Laura. The other one that I wanted to share with you so much that I love. If you if you love oranges, this is by Jurgens. This is like citrus surprise. Surprise, it smells like an orange. Okay, no surprise. But anyway, it smells so good. And again, it kind of permeates the room. And this kind of reminds me of years and years ago, I would order uh, scented creams from Adrienne Arpel. Remember her? She would sell, I think, on HSN. And everywhere I would go, I would get compliments on how I smelled. Well, that's what happens when I use this Citrus Surprise by Jurgens. <laughs> it smells so good. So if you like coconut, you'll love this. If you like oranges, you will like this. But I can't recommend these enough. They're so good. ago I shared with you that my dear friend Hal returned to me so many photographs and slides from my past and I was so excited but I didn't know how I was going to get the slides onto a format that I could you know keep and, and share and I went on Amazon and I bought this this is by Digit Now and it is a film scanner you put your slides in or your negatives now you know, if you're around my age, when I say negatives, you know what I'm talking about. But anybody under 30, I don't know if they know what that means. But you can either put your slides or your negatives through this machine. This is powered by USB, so you don't even have to have this hooked up to a computer for it to work. You slide your memory card in right here, the same card that you would use for your camera, and then you just push your slides through, you just push the button, that's it. You push the button that says acquire and the slide goes onto your memory card, the memory card is onto your computer and voila. I want to share with you is kind of another dupe and it's kind of a trendy thing that's going on. I never heard of this before 
But what some of the gals are doing this year to get a glow on for summer is they are using these tinted body face uh, illuminating uh, tint moisturizers. I don't know how to describe it, you know, as a primer. And then we put our foundation over it and there we are in all our glory and we are just glowing. I first heard about this from uh, Kate the Great. I will link her channel below. She is an aspiring actress in New York. She has so much charisma and so much talent. She has such a dry sense of humor. I love watching her, but I'll link her channel below. Anyways, so she did this extravaganza on uh, the Rihanna uh, Body Sauce by Fenty. And I did order that. And the thing is, it's pretty... You know, it's it's pretty spendy, and I thought, you know, I just got swept away. I watched your video, and I saw her use it as a primer, and it looks so beautiful. And I thought, well, that's going to last me all summer, so right, I can afford it anyway. You know, Sephora was so back-ordered on the body socks that it took over two weeks to get here. Well, I wasn't waiting. I wanted, you know, I wanted to get my glow on like Kate the Great. Anyway, so I went to the drugstore, and I got a dupe. And this is the L'Oreal uh, Beach Bay, and it comes in two shades, light and dark. <laughs> and this is basically, this does what the body sauce does. And I will show you, you know, hopefully I can show you the difference between the two. But this is so pretty. Now this is the lightest shade here, and I kind of mix the darker shade with the light shade. But I am not afraid to put this on my face as a primer and just like put it on my arms as a body illuminator, a skin illuminator, <laughs> not a body. You know what I mean. But if you just want something quick for summer, you know, you just put on your body bay a little bit of blush, lipstick, and some mascara into your eyebrows, and you're you're good to go. But you just look so healthy. I just I think it's just the coolest thing. So I have been using both of these products this week, and I haven't been using foundation, and I have been loving it. this does is it it gives you the most beautiful glow you know, I didn't set out to do a dupes video today I have no idea why so many of my favorites this week turn out to be kind of like cheaper dupes for fabulous products but the next one, this one is a dupe for the Bye Bye Under Eye. Bye Bye Under Eye runs me, I don't know, 40, I want to say $40 for a little tube of it. But the little tube does last a long time. But of all the drugstore concealers that I've tried, this one really is a complete dupe for the Bye Bye Under Eye. This is the L'Oreal Infallible. But boy, it comes in a really large wand like the Shape Tape. And you just put a little bit on your finger. It feels like Bye Bye Under Eye. It really does. But ever so lightly to go under your eye or wherever you put concealer. I just want to just take a bath in concealer. I tell you lately, I don't know. But this is amazing concealer it has it's a little bit drier than bye bye under eye but i i couldn't tell the difference between the two i honestly couldn't i think actually this is a little bit better match for me uh than the bye bye under eye and it sure is a whole lot cheaper i haven't worn a liquid eyeliner in probably three years but i picked this this is the new formula by physicians formula and this is their liquid eyeliner this is so good this stays on it's very easy to uh, apply it with your eyes and once you've got it on you could go through a car wash twice and it wouldn't come off 
I mean, it's like permanent eyeliner. I mean, so I am extremely impressed with this and I especially wanted to bring it up today because, you know, summer's going to be here. It's going to be hot. You know, we don't want our liner or anything sliding around our eyes, you know. So if this is acting like a little bit of permanent eyeliner, yeah, I really like it. Desi, I got to ask you a question. What do you think the meaning of life is? Oh, a warm bed, a dog treat, and love. What are you looking for? You know, one of my very favorite short stories is called The Girls in Their Summer Dresses. A, a beautiful story about uh, a man and his wife and how he's looking at the pretty girls in their summer dresses and his wife is jealous. And I remember I, I read that when I was a very young woman and I have always loved summer dresses and I always will for a whole lot of reasons, but they just make me feel pretty. And so when I was at Kohl's the other day, um, I, I saw a couple summer dresses and they really turned out to be my favorites. And so I want to show you. I got this very, very pretty blue one. I love the color blue and it's just such a, a beautiful color to wear, I think, in the summertime. I got this cute little top. This is all Vincent Van Gogh colors. I love him and I just thought it was just cool as heck. And I got a little tan dress that I thought it's kind of tan, black, white, kind of geometric shapes and just kind of just perfect for summer, kind of A-line. Not a dress that I usually wear, but I, I just love it. And they give me such inspiration, you know, to kind of really get in shape because in a dress, I don't know, I just want to look my best. I want to be one of those, one of those ladies in her summer dress. Now, the last favorite that I want to share with you is the new stylist that has been helping me with my hair the last couple of months and his name is Camden. I didn't go to a salon for like 17 months and there was a lot of damage that I did to my hair using, you know, bleach out of a box. And so he is really trying to help me with the cut and the color and I just... He is such a, a beautiful man, and he's not even 30. He kind of is a cross between Sean Connery and Jude Law, <laughs> but he has such a beautiful, beautiful heart. And, you know, I'm going to link his salon and his Instagram below in case you are in West Michigan and you want to have Camden do your hair. I will link him below. But I got to tell you, you know, here's this young guy, and he's working on my hair. And we're getting to know each other, you know, and he's going to try to fix me up. Probably by fall, I'll have my hair the way that it probably should be. But he said, I watched your video. And I thought, oh my gosh, he watched my video. And he said the thing he remembered most was when I asked my friend Hal, when we were looking at an old beat up chair, I said, Hal, what word comes to mind when you look at that chair? And Hal said, comfort. And I said, even with a nail sticking up? And Hal said, yeah, well-worn comfort. 
And that's the line that Camden said back to me from my video. And I realized when he said that, that Hal kind of summed up in three words what I tried to do in 20 minutes. Trying to somehow explain to you how I felt about life, that even with the nails sticking up, you know, with the disappointments and the setbacks, the the depression and the tears, it was still, even with the nails sticking up, it was the best thing around to live every single day to our fullest. You know, I'm convinced life is a lot like going to a concert. You mostly get a crappy seat and the guy next to you won't stop talking. But in the end, the music's so good and you're just happy to tell people you were there, you were part of it. Hey everybody, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I loved every second of it, I always do. And if you get time, down below, could you share, if there's something you do for summer that makes you look beautiful, could you share it with all of us? <laughs> I need the help. <laughs> Please have yourself a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, the gangsta. okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here.